Hey, what's up guys? Joe here with Steel Ops. Wanted to share some test results that we just recently got back from uh, the guys over at Oregon Ballistic Laboratories. Um, we sent them, for those of you that are familiar with our product, you'll recognize this. This is our XP plate. Um, one thing to note, guys, is that all of the steel that we use in all of our armor is exactly the same. All the coatings are exactly the same, so um, I just want to preface the video by saying that and just know that all of our plates are going to have incredibly similar performance um, despite small changes in shape and curve and stuff like that. So in any case, we sent them one of our XP plates and we had them test this to, uh, or special threat test this, to one of the new ratings out of the RF2 uh, standards. And this one in particular was uh, M855 at the new 3,115 feet per second velocity rating, which is just absolutely screaming for M855. You will be hard pressed to get that velocity out of 16, 18, or even 20 inch barrels with the M855, but that's the new standard, so that's what we had them test it to. Um, and they shot it six times, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll zoom in on these so you can kind of see what it looks like when the bullet impacts. There's your, you see it's just tiny little holes, little itty bitty baby holes from M855. Uh, and uh, here's some of your results. So. Um, you'll notice over here uh, you have your uh, grain weight and then they use two chronographs guys they use uh, one two and then they come up with an average looks like the highest single chronograph reading was 3133 and the highest average velocity was 3132 again that is just super fast for m855 um, almost an unrealistic velocity but that's another topic and then here uh, you have uh, whether or not it was a penetration um, so the way that ballistic labs work guys is they have a partial penetration or a complete penetration a partial penetration guys is just a complete stop um, if anything goes through it's called a complete penetration so um, as you can see um, full stops on all these hits uh, and the test sample satisfied the ballistic requirements given um, they did do a back face deformation measurement test uh, on two hits and we are well below the 44 millimeters allowed it looks like 16 and 20 and uh, they then all the temperatures and all that good stuff up there they did use a clay back there's some clay on here you can kind of see the guys at uh, Oregon Ballistics that's an NIJ certified lab they do a great job so everything is done according to protocol more than anything guys uh, you know to be honest with you we kind of knew already that the plate was going to stop that round um, but uh, what's more important uh, in my opinion is I'm going to show you the edges of this plate we have 100 percent full encapsulation of all fragmentation on that plate the coating, the edges, nothing has cracked, nothing came out, um, and the coating just did a really good job despite the spread of bullets on the plate. I'll show you guys the back side here, and I'll try to hold this up so you can kind of see the back face deformation. Super minimal, guys, um, almost unnoticeable, and um, this is a newer version of the XP plate that we're going to be offering here in the near future that is uh, 010106 uh, NIJ certified and uh, we just wanted to send this to them and have that special threat test done so uh, yeah uh, very pleased with those results hopefully you guys are too again you're going to um, all of our armor plates are made out of the exact same steel and the exact same coating that you see pictured here so uh, if you ever have any questions about testing uh, feel free to reach out to us. Our office number has changed, guys. Our, our new number is 970-568-1191. And, of course, you can always reach out to us at shop.steelops.com. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great weekend.